This video has been a little while coming. In 2018, I shared our stay in the Maldives, staying at Six Senses Lamu. It's a goal of mine to be more environmentally conscious wherever we are, not just in our own home. So upon researching our trip to the Maldives, I looked into the resorts that were doing their most to be sustainably responsible, considering the Maldives has a huge issue with waste. In fact, the Maldives Independent recently published a statistic that waste generation in Male alone, the Maldives capital, has increased by 155% in just the past 10 years. So we decided upon Six Senses Lamu because of their sustainability efforts. In this video, we took the back of house tour to see these sustainability initiatives in place. Here in the middle of Six Senses Lamu lies the leaf garden. Organic herbs, vegetables, lettuce, microgreens and sprouts are all grown. There is also a large chili table with 24 varieties of chili, all used by the chefs on the island at any of the four different bars and restaurants. It's worth pointing out that Six Senses also has a great range of vegan meals. Earth Lab is Lamu's hub for self sufficiency and zero waste. Here, Six Senses crush old glass that they are unable to reuse into cement products. Old towels are turned into flower pots, which is pretty cool. Yeah. So, normally, when we do a concrete, we uh, add a uh, sand, a cement, and water. Yeah. And there's an aquaponic system which uses the circulation of water to grow plants without soil, which saves space and land. Next up was a quick look at the, I'm not going to get this right, the Kukulu village. Kukulu is the local name for chickens. The chickens here provide all the eggs used on the resort and this guy here was pretty happy with himself because he's the only rooster. We had a quick walkthrough of the on-site tailor where all the staff's clothing, napkins, drink coasters and wine holders are all made on site. All the tailors are local Maldivians where a majority of them are from the islands of the Lamu Atoll where Six Senses is actually located. This creates jobs for the locals, stimulating the local economy. We also found out that Six Senses also source as many local products as possible. This includes local Maldivian coconut oil for the Six Senses spa, fresh fish caught by local fishermen, and a zero waste tuna factory situated on the, in the Lamu Atoll. This here was perhaps one of the most interesting parts of the back of house tour. This is the water processing plant or a desalination plant. It's only for our uh, drinking water. Yeah. So we, uh, after this you can see uh, the bigger version. So the water comes from our desalination plant. This is where the water for the whole island is produced. The water is taken from the ocean and by a process of reverse osmosis whereby pressurized seawater is filtered through a semi-permeable membrane to remove all the salt and particles, then remineralized and passed through an ultraviolet filter before being bottled in reusable glass bottles and delivered to all villas and outlets. I know I sound super smart saying all of that, but I'm actually just recalling what was explained to us from the Six Senses Sustainability Officer. And they also have all the information on this sustainability work that they do on their website. The direct link is in my bio. The desalination plant creates an elimination of plastic water bottles on the island. Plastic is something that the Maldives has a real problem with. In the description box of this video, I have added a few videos that really highlight just how much plastic pollution the Maldives is dealing with. It wouldn't be a sustainability tour if we didn't cover energy conservation. Diesel generators run the island and it takes a fair bit of diesel to keep the island going. Six Senses has claimed that until renewable energy becomes available, they will focus on energy conservation. In their defense, all the rooms have reminders to turn off all lights and air con when we leave our villas. Lastly, we had a quick look at the area that the staff live and eat. This sign in the staff kitchen caught my attention. 27 kilos of food is a lot and that's how much was wasted in one day and fed 15 staff members. When you see that amount of food wasted and how many people it can feed, it really puts things in perspective. So those numbers really helped me a lot. 
I hope you enjoyed this little behind the scenes edit of Six Senses and it gave you some idea of the work that they are doing towards preserving the extraordinary environment that the Maldives is. I guess we all know the effects that the tourism industry has on the environment and the more we can all take steps to support the hotels, resorts, Airbnbs, airlines, airports and the many more companies that make up the travel sector, the more we're doing to protect the places we visit. Thank you so much for watching.